Good morning. I am happy to give a video lecture on G. Kalyana Rao's novel, Untouchable Spring, a short summary. First, I would like to give the introduction of the author. G. Kalyana Rao is a renowned Indian writer. He portrays the heritage and the traditions of the Dalits by telling the story of Untouchable Spring through a Dalit protagonist. He also shows how the norms and traditions of their culture were passed on through oral means from generation to generations. Kalyana Rao, being a Dalit, added a personal touch to his novel as what he wrote was a result of what he faced being a Dalit in his community. His novel, Untouchable Spring, subtitled Antarani Basandam. This novel is about a generational struggle of Dalits. The Dalits desperately bristle with the inhuman practices of caste Hindus who forced them to live away from mainstream society with no protection from natural calamities. The novel is about the past memories of Ruth and Ruben. The story moves around six generations of a Dalit family and the lives of Mada Madigas of Yenala Nini village in Andhra Pradesh. The condition of the Dalits in first two generations was submissive and traditional. The Dalit of first two generations are primarily agricultural laborers. Once the rains fall, all of them, men, women and children, go to work in the Karanam streets. They are paid starvation wages, which is not enough to appease their hunger. The story of the third generation is riddled with tumultuous events. The 19th century is affected by severe drought and famine. It devastated the family of the village people. The Dalits of the village have no other recourse except to migrate to different places looking for their jobs. Eventually, Martin comes to their rescue thus representing Christian charity and compassion. The fourth generation begins with Shivaya's son Reuben, the sole survivor of the massacre. Reuben is now into youthful age. Youthful age. A Christian who lives through brings him up. Reuben is curious in learning about his ancestors. There is a search into the past to know their roots and to appreciate the great culture. The generational life of the Dalits and somehow intertwined with Ennala Dini, a village in Andhra Pradesh. This generation also sees the source of the pre-independence ideological discourses such as communism, Gandhism and subaltern systems of thought including. As the conversation between Ruben and Ramanujam was going on, they also talked about communism. Communism becomes the major landscape which brought about changes in Dalit consciousness. Emanuel's, this is the last generation of this novel, Untouchable Spring. His story is the fifth generation story. It is suggestive of liberation theology of South and Latin America, which principally stems from Christian humanism. Emanuel's religious upbringing is modeled on countless biblical stories of oppression and liberation. Emanuel is attracted to extremist movements. Kalyana Rao's novel, Untouchable Spring, reminds us of the anxiety of socialist realism. The Dalits lived with their own rich tradition of art, art form, their light. Flight is represented in this novel. Till the end of the Dalit personalities never gave up their self-respect and dignity. Thank you.